The first human head transplant might be conducted in China by 2018. China's professor Xiaoping Ren has just completed his 1,000th head transplant on mice, brown mice with black heads, black mice with brown heads, no matter. And there is speculation that it is very close before China will have the first human head transplant. If a person is paralyzed from the neck down and has been told by doctors that they will never be mobile again, but given the option to have a new body, what do you suppose they'd say? And if this sort of transplant becomes mainstream, some people may parlay the years of work to become an Olympic champion or bodybuilder if given the option to take over the body of an athlete who died in a car accident. And while we're speculating, what's to stop a man from putting his head on a woman's body or vice versa? Or a black man's head on a white man's body? How about quadriplegic genius Stephen Hawking's head being put on a new body? For that matter, what if Stephen Hawking's brain could live thousands of years and he just keeps getting new bodies? How many new mathematical advances might be achieved by a scientist who could live that long? Where would this all end? Here's an account of a typical mouse's head transplant from the Wall Street Journal article published June 5, 2015. But as you listen to Professor Wren's description of one of his recent mouse head transplants after surgery was complete and the ventilator was removed, picture this being a human being instead. The head began breathing spontaneously with its new body. An hour later, the body twitched, and a few hours after that, the mouse opened its eyes. Igor, come into my laboratory for a moment. I need to borrow something from you. 